Hello everyone, this is Vishwanath Sandilya from South Mumbai Chess Academy. Today in this video, we are going to see a match played by Visiko vs. Uh, Wilmnovic, which is played in the year 1973. It was USSR vs. Yugoslavia match. So in this uh, game, we are going to see a very nice uh, planning. Uh, especially from the white player who is Veljovic he created a very beautiful plan to continue the attack and mostly we can say uh, it's an active piece play and a very strategical idea to bring all the pieces very quickly to continue the attack so the game started with uh, e4 c5 so it's a Sicilian defense knight to f3 checking the preparing to push d4 and black replied with knight c6 and now white played bishop to b5 sicilian rosolimo variation e6 so this is a quite uh, very popular at that time because when after e6 uh, black can just play knight e7 and maybe play a6 to cut the strong pair bishop so white quickly took this and black captured with the b pawn so this is a very normal way to recapture as it strengthens the center by after something like d5 so white continued his development with castling and black played uh, queen to c7 White played with d3, pawn d6, knight to c3. So these are very uh, normal moves in this structure. Knight to f6. So white played queen e2 here and pawn to e5. Okay, so I would like to, uh, you to pause the video for some time and uh, find the best way how can white proceed here how can white make a good plan to activate the white pieces the fastest way you can develop and continue the attack so right now you see white pieces are not doing that great so make a plan just pause the video for one minute and try to find the best way best move from here for white okay i hope you find the move the move is uh knight to h4 a very nice move a very nice plan so first what white is planning to activate this rook or maybe the queen or the knight even the bishop we can see after moving the pawn to f4 white gets a very active play with all these pieces so that's a very interesting move so knight h4 now after f4 I get all the pieces into the game. So black played pawn to g6. So he was very clever like for two reasons uh, pawn g6 is much better than any other move. So first thing is he may be protecting the f5 square for any of the knight jumps later after f4 maybe. Or he felt like uh, maybe white is playing f4 so there is no point in bishop on d6 or something like e7 so this may be a very active diagonal for the bishop so g6 is a very logical move so white played f4 and black took the pawn on f4 so here uh, white played another stunning move which activates the remaining pieces in the game so as if now we thought like something like bishop takes f4 or something rook into f4 white had a very decent game but white player is not really happy with this move he thought i want to just get my other two pieces which are doing nothing i want to continue developing them also so he pushed the pawn to e5 now e5 is a very strong attacking move first i'm attacking the knight the reason why he wants to play e5 is to uh, once if black captures 
d takes e5 which happened in the game now I get this e4 square for the knight and best thing is I get bishop f4 which pins the pawn and finally get the rook on a1 to e1 so white activated every single piece by moving knight to h4 this is a very good plan he has created a and he has played so now after e5 white black captured d5 white took bishop into f4 and black needs to support the pawn the best way is to bring knight to d7 this supports the pawn and maybe he can get some more additional supports by moving bishop to g7 or pawn to f6 so white continued his development with rook a1 the best square for the rook keeping it in an open file semi open file so black needs to move his king faster he cannot keep the king in the e8 square so he continued with bishop g7 so white continued his attack by moving knight to f3 threatening the pawn on e5 and pawn to f6 so white keep developing and the last piece into the game with knight to e4 centralizing the knight okay so now i think uh, this is not a really tough move to calculate he is unpinning the king by moving the knight to e4 but still the bishop on f4 is really very safe because after capturing the f4 you might get checkmated after knight f6 king f7 and queen to e7 so white uh, so black really can't take this pawn take this bishop so he did continued with castling which is the best move and white played white now needs to move the bishop he played bishop to e3 maybe threatening the pawn to c5 so here uh, i suggest like uh, black should have continued his development with uh, moving these pieces actively but he played rook to e8 and pawn and now white had a really tough time to take a decision like white black is uh, now planning to play something like f5 and try to move my pieces even though white have a very good development advantage but this will not be enough uh, to continue the game so he played uh, pawn to g4 to stop the pawn f5 and black played f5 now f5 is uh, slightly inaccurate because of uh, development problem white is way too much developed compared to black's position so white quickly opened the position with g into f5 g takes the f5 pawn and now white have a very nice move just pause the video and try to find the best move from white okay uh, so if you see the position uh, white almost every single piece is ready to attack so an, a five one two three four five six a six offensive pieces with only few defensive pieces i can hardly say a rook a knight and a bishop except these three pieces there is no major defense for the king so white quickly sees this initiative and start moving his pieces aggressively so he started the move with knight to g5 knight fg5 now he is giving a free piece if white if black captures the piece knight pawn on e4 pawn into e4 then white quickly wins the game with queen h5 with the idea of taking the rook or queen captures the f7 h7 with a mating threat i can't defend both with knight f6 with a simple threat of rook into f6 wins the game so here uh, black really can't take it and he played the best way to defend trying bringing more pieces near the king side 
which is the best way to defend here so he played knight to f6 and white captured knight f6 bishop captures f6 and still black is suffering from development developing the pieces so white continued his attack with queen to h5 threatening the rook on h7 uh, rook on e8 so black played rook to e7 saying he can defend everything and maybe he can just try something like rook to g7 so look like black is quite okay now white to play again a very nice move from white and it's actually a very good calculative move knight captures the head seven now if black uh, captures on head seven which will be a mistake because after queen e8 check king g7 and rook to e2 now see all the white pieces are very good even though black is a piece up now threatening rook to g2 once king moves i have a mating threat queen g6 so black now needs to block this and if i say like rook to h4 trying to block with rook g4 still white to play and win rook g2 check rook g4 which is the only move and rook captures now you see black king is very much exposed and the only defensive piece is the bishop on f6 so i can remove this by giving my bishop to h6 and after king h6 the king is left alone so it can be checkmate in in next few moves maybe something like this so a very nice move a very nice calculation by visible uh, thinking knight for knight to do h7 so he gave a check to rook g7 which is uh, a very nice move king to h1 and now he is planning to he cannot take the knight because i have the same uh, threat of queen h queen e8 and now i don't need to even wait rook e2 i get right directly rook g1 so he tried to exchange with queen f7 which is the best way now you see both the queen and the knight are threatened so i can escape both by capturing knight to f6 with a check now he cannot take queen into queen as you can see knight can retreat and save the piece so you have to take queen into f6 now again a very nice thing there are only uh, two pieces and i don't consider as a queen there is only one major piece which can defend is a rook and white simply exchange the rook that only piece which can defend the king so rook captures rook will directly lose after rook into rook there is uh, so many variations i hope you can find by yourself so he tried his best way by moving the bishop bishop to e6 trying for the final move something like bishop to d5 but white quickly saw this and removed the defense of the king side by taking rook g7 queen g7 now rook g1 will be a big blunder because of the bishop d5 you have to block with the rook and there is a checkmate for white so he stopped this idea by moving pawn to c4 and now here uh, black resigned without making any move because he saw rook g1 is too powerful both, both the queen rook and bishop uh, can actually trouble the king so if we try something uh, let's say something like queen h7 the best possible way to exchange the pieces maybe so rook g1 and king to h8 the best way to keep the king safe and also to protect the queen i can simply win with queen g5 and there is nothing you can do about this maybe if i play rook to g8 i can just move queen to f6 check 
rook g7 and bishop h6 wins everything so a very nice and interesting game uh, played by Vesico. hope you like the video um,